Matt Sancher at 340. Good. Hey, good step. Yeah, I honestly said today, 340 in my head, I would have been uh, pretty happy with. Um, honestly, like I, I, the way my race has been going, I had to play it safe. Like I, I, I just been so flat the last laps, like this whole year, lack of racing, lack of fitness, all of the above. So today I just really wanted to like have a little fight in that last straightaway. And, and honestly, like I was pretty happy with just racing again, you know, and like, I don't know if I would say competing because Lolly was way ahead, but you know, I was definitely fighting for that second spot. And it was good to kind of do that again. Has it been a perfect build up the last oh, few months? No. I, we saw I mean, you at Oregon Relays, but I know that for a moment yeah. there, it didn't look like you were going to be able to race it. But you still yeah, out. yeah. You know, um, there's a little more pressure when you have a relay. You don't want to let the guys down. Chez didn't want to show up. So, um, no, that was a really fun um, event. If we got the world record, that would have been great. I think it was just really nice, awesome runner space to like really kind of bring back some of the, the past Oregon Ducks and just kind of have a fun weekend of it. Um, and that's what we did. Uh, but yeah, I had I had a setback the week before, um, and, and yeah, it hasn't been a smooth ride since the knee surgery. And I think I definitely downplayed um, like all my all my setbacks before, like a hamstring strain or whatever. And it's like three weeks or four weeks. I mean, this thing literally like not only did I not race for a full year, like I didn't even train for a full year. And so that was like. I think, especially at my age, a little bit like, I mean, but yeah, you know, when you're 23, you come back quicker. Shut up. <laughs> Turn that camera out so I can see just how much of a mocker you're making. No, but it was, um, it, it's been a lot tougher than I anticipated when I, when I first got back. So have you been in Flags? The majority I was, yeah. So I'm back in Park City now. Okay. Um, Flags been great. There's, uh, you know, you've been, have you? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, there's like, I don't know, Gags doesn't like altitude. Who knows? Um, there's dozens of guys in different groups that are, all open to like hey hop in what are you doing today and so it's not like oh shoot i don't train with those guys i can't work out with them so it helped definitely getting out the door every day mixing things up keeping things fresh i know you were kind of down playing beforehand the expectations for this season yeah but i mean if you chart the improvement curve right now is there enough time to i guess be competitive by usa yeah that's tough to say um you know like i said my tracking record things start to kind of um, come quickly, but it's a different year. I'm a, di I'm a different individual. Um, at some point, you know, things just don't click as easy as they used to. Um, so, honestly, like, who knows? Um, I, I, at this point, like, I'd be lying to tell you, like, yeah, in the back of my head, I was, like, hoping for a little something. But, uh, honestly, for me, the main, main, main focus is uh, Paris next year. I really want to make that Olympic team. I, I would love to go back and win the trials. Like, that, that's... Uh, but this year, I mean, obviously, the goose is firing on all cylinders, and um, it, it, it's going to be a tough team to make this year. Is it fun right now? Is it fun? Yeah, you having fun? I'm, I'm enjoying this one a little <laughs> bit more. Um, I mean, truth to be, like, you know, like, honestly, like, when I'm getting my ass kicked, like, a few minutes after race, I'm like, man, that's embarrassing or whatever. Like, like within, like, 10, 15 minutes, like, the, the support group I've had has been awesome. Like, down in Australia, there's, there are so many coaches and individuals that were, like, keep your head up and go down for a cool down with them to kind of forget about it. Um, and, and that's what I got to do, right? Like, I, I can't dwell on these races for too long. And, and uh, even if I ran through 36, like, I'm not going to be like, yeah, I'm back and celebrate for the next week. So, you know, this is a good step. Yeah, so yesterday we were out at the track. We saw Pat Casey running a 26-second 200. But you have me out there, Matt, Will Lear, Garrett Heath, Andrew Weeding. You're the one guy from our generation now still holding it down. Do you feel that? I don't know if that's holding it down, but yeah, we're going with it. Um, for, let, let's back up. That 26-1, there's only last 40 meters, and that pace was like 35 second pace. Unless you guys filmed the whole two, I'm not believing it. Um, I, I was chatting with Hass before the race, and I was like, you see Pat's 26, he goes, that's the Under Armour spikes. I'm like, he wasn't even in spikes. And, uh, dude, when you think about that pants, no spikes is Pat Casey. The guy can't get moving. Even if it's prime, he couldn't run 26. It's hard to believe. Yeah, he would have run 339 today. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> that took me to say. Um, yeah, no, it, it's, it's great. Like, honestly, like, it's kind of weird a little bit, like, seeing you guys have different professions now. Um, but obviously, you you and um, Chris and Mac have been killing it with Sidious. But, like, I meant just, like, coming here, weeding's with on. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's, like, what? It, it, it's, it's a little weird, but it's also really nice to see familiar faces and, and uh, you know, chop it up a little bit. Very cool. Well, we're all rooting for you, Matt. I appreciate it, Kyle.